Hey, just checking in. Hope you're doing really well. What happens to you if you stop managing life? First of all, life becomes effortless because you're not putting in any effort to manage your life. Most people operate from the assumption that life needs to be managed. Well, if you stop managing, you'll see what is actually needed to behave in a way that makes most sense to you in your life. You will find that a lot of things that you're naturally inclined to do, you'll still do them, but effortlessly. For example, when you like reading books, you automatically start reading books at the time that makes sense for you. If you like your work, you go work. When you stop managing life, life becomes easy and you have a lot more energy to do things. You'll have a lot less resistance going on. When you have less resistance, maybe there's some, some resistant thoughts. I should be managing myself, right? But if you just ignore those, then you see what naturally occurs. You see when you want to exercise, you see what work intensity makes sense for you, what is your natural motivation, and maybe you'll find out that life just works even better than when you start managing it. That was my experience, that when I stopped managing my life, that I stopped all these to-dos and disciplines, that I found out that I was way more productive that I was doing a lot better, that I was naturally motivated, that I naturally wanted to work out, read, and do all these things. But it costs a lot less effort because you're in the flow automatically. The flow is always there if you just let go of management, of the meta layer, of needing to do all these things. What happens when you let go of management and managing your life? Life becomes easy. Life becomes effortless. Maybe some resistant thoughts will come up, like I should be managing, right? But overall, your life will be a lot better. Of course, there are exceptions when actual management of life or making sure that things go a certain way is necessary. But it's not as necessary as you think. It might be necessary to leave the home at the right time for a necessary important imp uh, appointment. It might be good to manage yourself not doing stupid things. But in general, that's just a very, very, very small portion of the time. And then it's also interesting to notice what are my natural inclinations? What is my natural rhythm? How productive am I naturally? And if you want to improve yourself, you will notice, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm, for example, self-sabotaging. Why am I doing this? But if you always cover yourself with this management layer, you'll never really see your true self. Well, I'm really curious how you find this. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Maybe you tried it, maybe you haven't. Maybe you can try it first on a day that's like a weekend day that's not as important for you and you can just see where are you naturally carried? What do you naturally like to do? Most people only do this on vacation, but even then they plan. What happens when you let go of planning? What happens when you let go of management? What happens? Check it out. Freedom will ensue. Bye, my friend.